Hi everyone. So today we will learn how to create box sets and what are the role of box sets in the data. So box sets are basically a kind of units we have in AutoCAD. So for example, if you want to switch off any kind of a goals, doors in the floor plan or in any other rules, you simply click on visibility graphics settings and you switch off the walls. So all the walls will be off in this particular view. But for example, if you only want to switch off the interior walls, then you actually need to make filters. Also, it would be valid only for this particular view. If you make any kind of a changes here, it won't be visible in other views. Here comes the rule of boxes. Now, what are boxes? For example, if I am uh, an interior designer, then I only be bothering about the architectural walls or maximum the facade walls if I am working on the interior walls of this area. Otherwise, I don't want to see the shear walls or the core areas of the model in my Revit. Okay, similarly, if I am working on a structural portion, then I won't having an issue with the interior layout or interior things. So I will be switching off all the elements related to throughout the model, whether it is my view or whether it is a 3D or whether it is other views. So work sets are used to basically eliminate the elements which you are not working on. The second benefit of using work sets is it keeps your model very light. So for example, if you uh, create all the elements in different work sets, then you can simply switch off those work sets and work on different elements. The third benefit is whenever the model is in collaboration, we have four or five members or multiple users are working on the same project, then the chances of getting uh, editing request is really low if you are working on a uh, uh, properly designated work sets. So how can we create work sets and how can we put our elements in those work sets in the Revit? So the first thing is you have to go to the collaborate tab and then click on this option which is work set. If you click on it, it will ask you that you are going to make your model work sharing. Now, what is work sharing? Work sharing is basically a collaborative model you are going to make. So by default, it will make two work sets, which is share grids and levels, and the second work set is work set one. So it will automatically move grids and levels to the this work set and rest of the elements to work set one. This is a default setting. You can change it afterwards. As soon as you click on it, so you will see that you will open up one window which is of work sets. Same here it is written shared in levels and grids and work set one. If you click OK, then you will see this bottom bar has been highlighted. Okay. After that, you can see two work sets which are listed there. You can open the work set window from here or even from this icon. Both are same things. As soon as you select your grid, you will see your work set is uh, shared levels and grids. But if you select any wall or modeling element, then you will see it, it is there in the work set bar. Now, first of all, we'll save it up. Okay. So while saving, it will ask us to uh, save it as a central model. Why? Right? Because as soon as you create the work sets, the model itself become a collaborative model. So we'll save it as a central model on the same location. Okay. After saving, saving it up, you will see a synchronization time, which means the model has become a collaborative model or a central model. Now, the next thing is 
we need to create different websites for the facade walls, for the interior walls, and for the structural walls. So how we can create it? We'll simply go to websites, create new website from here, let's say uh, interior walls. Yeah, interior elements, both are simply. Interior elements, we can take wall and even the interior furniture doors. So we can create interior elements. The next website we can create structural elements. The third website we can create is the facade elements. And so on. Now, if we click OK, it will ask us, do you want to make it as an active view? Now, what is active website? You can click yes or no. It's going to launch this. What is active website? Active website means the website which is listed here. If you shift it to facade element, your active website is facade element. Now, whatever the element you draw here will automatically be go in the active website like this. If you make your active website, let's, let's say website one, if you draw the same wall again, it will automatically put your wall to website one, which is the active website. So make sure that your active website should be correct by one. After that, you can simply select all your exterior walls with the curtain walls as well. And you can change the website to facade elements. Then you can select all your interior walls and change your websites to interior elements. Similarly, with the doors as well. You can change them to interior. Last is the structural elements. You can change their website to structural elements. So by default, box set one which is created cannot be disabled. So if you do want to rename it, you first need to make it editable and then you can rename. But you also need to press OK first, then open the same window again. Open website one and then rename it. So let's say if you want to rename it as flows or something else, let's say furniture elements. Although furniture would be counted in the interior only, but if you want to create another website, furniture elements. Lastly, you need to create further websites for different linked models. Now, if you have certain link models, let's say structural linked model, then you have MEP model. So you need to create, let's say, a Revit link. It's basically the normal, proper nomenclature of putting the websites. Revit link or LR, which is an opposite of Revit link. Then underscore and whatever the link you have. So let's say MEP. So you will simply select the Revit link model and put that in this particular website. Now, the next thing is if you switch off the interior elements from here, let's say if we close it up, interior elements and close, then what will happen? All the interior walls with its elements is closed in this particular view and even in the 3D as well. If you open it up again, it will open up in all the views and throughout the project. The best part of it is, let's say if we save this file and close it up. Just a second, we need to sync it. And we'll close this file. After that, if we open the same file again, 
we have the option of specific. We'll simply select the file. There is an option of specify and click open. So it will ask us what worksets do you need to close or what worksets you need to open. So if your model is becoming a little heavy, then you can close the worksets which you are not requiring while working. So let's say if I don't require any an interior worksets, we'll simply close it up and open the model. So your model will open really fast as compared if you open all the offsets and uh, it will become a light model. After that, after opening, if you require the interior offset, you can simply click open, okay, and it will show up your elements again.